Hello, and welcome to another 5 Good Minutes, in which I answer your theological questions in 5 minutes or less. Today's question is all about prayer. Specifically, this person has asked questions such as, how do I pray, or what do I pray for? They're confused about maybe what it means to pray in God's will to be done, for God's glory to be achieved through the prayer. First of all, let me just say that not knowing how to pray or what to pray for, put yourself in some very good company. Many of us feel despondent and heartbroken, and we approach God to help because we don't know where else to turn. And this is what some, this is something that Paul addresses in the book of Romans, chapter 8. And he speaks about the Holy Spirit helping us in moments like that. For example, Paul says this, Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. That's a promise that we have from God, that even when we get to those moments and we are just desperate and despondent and all we can do is just cry before God on our knees. We have this assurance that he hears us. And why does he hear us? Because we have a better prayer warrior than we can ever be living inside of us. The Bible says that we are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And in those moments, he helps us in our weakness, even when we don't say it quite right, or we don't know even how to put it into the right words. We know that God hears us because the Holy Spirit prays for us on our behalf. The other part of your question deals with God's will. First, let me just say this, that God will never answer a prayer that's not in accordance with his will. God's will is set from eternity past. It has been decreed, and God does not change his mind like a man or a woman does. God is not a flip-flopper. God is sovereign. God is all-knowing, all-powerful, all-present. He doesn't change. He's immutable. So we could pray confidently, God, if it be your will, heal this person. And if it be in God's will, he will do it. And this is the confidence that we have toward him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. I'm understanding by saying, let your will be done. I'm understanding, God, that I'm not demanding this. I'm not requiring this of you. I just want this to be known, that this is what I desire. But God, I know you're a good God, a good Father, and I know that you know better than me, and I know that whatever you do is the right thing, even if I don't think it's the right thing. You see, many people have a misconception of prayer that prayer changes things. There's even a thing that says something like that, prayer changes things, so keep on praying. No, the point of prayer isn't to change things. The point of prayer is to change you. We pray, God, don't change your will, but God, change my will to be in alignment with your will. You'd ask your dad, hey, dad, can I do this? And your dad would say, go ask your mom. You go ask your mom and your mom says, go ask your dad. And then you keep going back and forth until one of them says, fine, I don't care. Some people maybe approach prayer like that, like if I keep asking God enough, I'll change his mind, he'll get tired of me asking, and he'll just give it to me. That's not the point of prayer. The point of prayer is not to get things from God. The point of prayer is to get God. See, God is the great reward of prayer. Yes, you desire these things to happen, but you know that you're not God. And if God doesn't give you these things, you know it's not according to his will, as much as you hate it. And trust me, there's some painful things that we want to change in our lives, but they will change if it's God's will. And then you're saying, well, what's the point of praying? The point of praying is simply to worship God. The point of praying is to remind ourselves that I'm not God, that I'm not in control. And we also pray because he's commanded us to. This is why God has given us this charge, because we need it. We need to pray. We need to be changed by our prayers. And we need to worship God through them. But we must understand what prayer is, a relationship and communion with God. For me to love God, be strengthened by God, and for my will to be aligned with God's will, not for God's will to be aligned with mine. I pray this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. This has been another five good minutes.